you looking for primary PSHE teaching resources? Well, today on a resource review ICT special, we'll be evaluating three that you might want to consider for your classroom. They are a DVD all about sex education, a healthy lifestyle CD-ROM, and a CD-ROM all about money. Recommending today's resources, we have Helen James, PSHE advisor for Tower Hamlets Children's Services in London, on the panel, we have another Helen, Helen Winter, fortunately for us, commonly known as H, a Year 6 teacher from Edmund Waller Primary School in Newcross, London. And we also have Colin Hinson, a freelance educational advisor. Over in the test lab, Matthew Tosh, our resident ICT investigator, is standing by to give us a tour of the resources. So, Helen, the first resource we're going to talk about today is called All About Us, Living and Growing. Explain this one to us and what you like about it. All About Us, Living and Growing is a Channel 4 resource which um, historically has been only on video format and recently was put onto DVD format. Now, in, in my opinion, it's the best sex and relationship education resource that's out there. OK, well, can we have a little look at the resource now? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the Living and Growing resource, um, the DVD, has three units with it. Unit one you can use for foundation stage. Unit two is for your year three and year four classes. And your unit three is for your year five and six classes. Now, I see we've got sort of hard copy supporting materials here. Yes. Uh, are these just a hard copy of what you get on the DVD, or are these additional? They're, they're additional. There are worksheets that the class teacher can use with the class. Um, there's some extension activities in there as well. So really, it's a support for the DVD. All right. Well, let's go over to Matthew now to have a look at what's on the DVD. The Living and Growing DVD features nine programmes about sex and relationships. The DVD is split up into three units, and I'm just going to click onto Unit 2 here. And the layout of each is pretty much similar. I thought we'd have a look at how babies are born. Now you have the option of playing the entire programme or you can use the chapter menu just to select an individual chapter from the film. So it could be useful if you want to focus on just one aspect in a lesson. Well, let's have a look at one of the chapters now just to get an idea of what's on the disc. This is called a scan, when Auntie Jo and Uncle Richard get to see their baby all snuggled up inside a part of Auntie Jo called her womb. The picture may look a bit strange, but look closely and you can see a real live baby moving around inside Mum. There's baby's face there. Oh, yeah. With yeah. two eyes. Oh. Now, at the end of each programme, you have the option of bringing up some discussion points just by clicking here. And there are also some questions that you can play. And this could be good on an interactive whiteboard. You can have children coming out answering the questions. So you've got the babies in the womb for about 40 weeks. There, we've got that correct. I'll take you back to the main menu because here there's a teacher's area that you can click through to. Now this features an inset programme to help you learn about how to teach sex and relationships in schools. There's also a DVD user guide and this is good because sometimes when you look at a DVD you've got all these nested levels of indexes and it can get a bit complicated to navigate through. So if you click on the next button a couple of times it brings up a menu structure diagram showing you exactly what's on the DVD. It's a thorough and compact resource all on one single DVD. And now back to Hermione. Well, Helen, this is an extensive resource. I mean, it looks good, but for teachers to be able to assess the level and, and get the appropriate sections for their pupils, it strikes me that they're going to have to be pretty familiar with the content of the entire resource. Is it worth the effort? <laughs> It's definitely worth the effort. There's a lot of really, really good clips on there that can be used. But you're right, teachers do need to make sure that they have read, um, read through all the resources, had a really good look at the DVD prior to using it in the classroom. OK, well, let's now go over to a teacher who's used it. H, do you think it's worth getting to grips with this resource? Yes, I do. It does take a long time to really understand what is in each section. And if you don't, it could be quite dangerous to show in the classroom um, in some respects because there's the use of terminology and there's some animated clips in particular which some schools and some parents may not approve of their children being shown at the ages that it's recommended. Right. So how did you find um, the appropriateness of the levels as they're depicted in the resource? Um, for use in our school, um, we felt that it was pitched too early. So, for example, 
the unit one that they advise you to use between ages five and seven would actually be more appropriate to use between ages seven and nine, some of it, not all of it, but there's discussion involving words like clitoris that some some parents and teachers might not feel comfortable with. It's a clear example of where schools need to know the needs of their pupils and actually have an understanding of that. I just, um, I just want to bring Colin in. What did you think of this result? I have to admit, I approached this, this particular resource with a little bit of trepidation. You know, I'm always aware that, that sex and relationship education is a very, very sensitive subject and that it, there are areas of it that can be controversial. And uh, I felt that this was an excellent resource because it, it approached sex and relationship education in a very fair and balanced way. H, what kind of reaction in the classroom did you get from the pupils? Um, I actually teach year six and that would be unit three. Some of unit three I used with the children, particularly the work on sperm production and menstruation. It was wonderful, it did exactly what you needed it to do. Um, there were, it was not a game, but there were, you could bring in a fun element to what you were doing as well. But I actually used the unit two that was is designed for age seven to nine. My, I use that in my classroom right. because that is what I deem to be appropriate for what fits in with our school and what our policy states that we should do. Well, Helen, some very positive comments from the panel there. Now time to move on to Helen's second choice of resource, something on a completely different topic. It's called Join the Activators. So tell us about this one, Helen. Join the Activators, it's, it's a good fun. Um, CD. It's one again for Key Stage 1 and probably early Key Stage 2 and within it we follow two families. We have the Activators and we have the Doolittles. And what, I mean, what topic is this really principally aimed at? Um, it's really is, it's a healthy lifestyles um, DVD. It does look at healthy eating but it also looks at how you travel to school. It also looks at um, physical activity, so it's on different levels really, but the main focus is to look at sort of healthy eating, healthy lifestyle. Thank you. Well now let's go and visit Matthew in the test lab, which I'm sure is a hive of activity, as he assesses Join the Activators for us. Healthy eating and the lifestyle to go with it are the ideas behind this CD-ROM. It features two families, the overweight Doolittles and the fit and healthy Activators. Now the CD-ROM is flash based and we can see it here on the menu, some of the key ideas behind it. There are four key ideas behind the CD-ROM. Always eat breakfast, don't be a do-little, aim for five and be active. So essentially keep fit and healthy and have five portions of fruit and vegetable a day. Well, I thought we'd have a look at the do-littles at breakfast to see how they're getting on. Well, they don't seem to be getting on very well looking at this picture. If you hover the pointer over the top and click on one of the characters, a little speech bubble comes up. And if you click on the speech bubble, they actually speak to you. I never have time for breakfast. And with this resource, even the cat will talk to you. Now we can move on and have a go at some of the activities on this disc. And this one here, you can have a go at creating a healthy breakfast for Mr. Doolittle. So we'll just click on him there. The breakfast tray is there. Let's give him a bowl of muesli. Oh, how about a boiled egg? I think we'll top that off with a glass of fruit juice. Right, we'll click on the done button to see how we've done. Oh, well done, a healthy and varied breakfast, not bad. Now, I have noticed there don't seem to be many checking points for the pupils on the CD-ROM, and it's quite easy just to click through and not really pay much attention to what's on the screen. And before you know it, you're back to the main menu. But I have found a target setting sheet in the teacher's section, which is quite good. Here it is here, and if you look at it, pupils can plan healthy diets and healthy lifestyles for a few weeks ahead. There's a teacher's booklet that you can click on, and this screen here shows you some of the content of the teacher's booklet. And also on this page, there are some links to summary sheets, there's a certificate that you can print out if people have become more healthy, and there's also some crosswords and word searches. The bit I really like here, though, are the links to the healthy eating websites. Well, it's got me thinking about my healthy diet, so now, I'm on the way to five a day. Oh, well, Helen, there's one comment I feel I have to make. The Doolittles had a regional accent, whereas the Activators had their more posh, perhaps middle-class accent. Do you think the families are just too stereotypical and that perhaps obscures the message? I don't think it obscures the message. I do agree that it's a very, very stereotypical family. You've got your you know, two parents, two children, cat, dog, and it's not what we know today's society to be. Okay. 
Well, H, what did you think of Join the Activators? I thought it was really good, um, and particularly seeing as it's free, so everyone has access <laughs> <Yeah>. to it. <laughs> there's also exceptionally good sections on maths. Um, there's data handling, coordinates, um, compass points. I also really like the way that they don't talk about exercise, they talk about activity, so mowing the lawn and walking to school and you know, going for a brisk walk every day and things that children really could do in Lewisham. Colin, what are your thoughts on this resource? One of the things that bothered me about this was the message itself was, was something that you can't really argue with. You know, you, you eat healthily, you live healthily. But of course the problem is that there are some pupils out there who won't have access to that. You know, they'll live in a block of flats and don't have much chance at exercise and the, the, the local park is quite a long way away. There may be people out there who do want to do it but for various reasons can't. I think it, it's fair to say that the resource does encourage physical activity, um, regardless of what resources are available to the young people. OK, well, thank you all very much. Now, time to move on to Helen's third choice of resource, again on a different topic. This is a CD-ROM called Money Week. So explain this one to us. The, the, the bulk of the pack is a series of um, lesson plans that the teachers can use throughout Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2 and each of them have um, a different angle at looking at financial capability. It's not numeracy specific, it is PSHE. For example, some of them will look at um, the cost of mobile phones. I mean, what young person doesn't want a mobile yeah. phone? Um, one looks at um, being able to afford to buy a bike, but actually there are consequences along the way. So it, it, it's quite, quite a good way of problem solving as well. So there's lots of exciting ways to actually explore money and the consequences of finance. Well, it sounds like a very good resource. H, how did it work in the classroom? Um, there are some extremely good ideas in there and bringing learning to life, um, making it practical, which is always a good thing. Yeah. Um, the last section, lesson 10 in there, is a continental cafe. So children would study other countries and the currency that's used and then create their own cafe where they've designed the food that they're going to have themselves and then priced everything in multiples just of a pound to keep it simple, converted it into other currencies and then the food could actually go on sale which would be great for a summer fair or yeah. a school, school event. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Colin, your thoughts about Money Week? What I liked about this was uh, the way it involved not just teachers that on this, uh, on this CD-ROM you actually have a section there that's for school governors, you have a section there that's for parents and so on, and for the pupils. So what you're doing is you're involving the whole school community in Money Week, and I thought that that was, that was a very, very good idea for this particular resource. Well, thank you all very much. That's all we've got time for today, but just to recap, the three resources that we've looked at were... All About Us, Living and Growing from Channel 4, Join the Activators, CD-ROM from the Food and Drink Federation and Money Week from the Personal Financial Education Group. For more information about the resources we've discussed, go to our website, it's teachers.tv forward slash resource review or if you want to, email us, resourcereview at teachers.tv. So a very big thank you to our panel today, to Helen, to H and to Colin. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on Resource Review. Bye-bye.